Hello, I'm Melissa and I sell part-time on eBay under the name Fresh Blooming Clothing. Today is Sunday, April 7th. Tomorrow is the big eclipse. We only have about 50 to 60% totality, so we'll be careful with our eyes, but our area isn't going to see a whole lot of the eclipse. So, I am shipping. It is Sunday, like I said, and I think I have about 15 or 16 orders. And if you are new to me, welcome. This is meant to be a nice, long, kind of just a chit chatty video. You can put it in the background or just, I try not to yell on it or have any loud noises just to make it as peaceful as possible. And I've come to love these. And I think this might be my roughly 80th video and uh, I'm not stopping them anytime soon. They allow me to use my fun supplies and show you the fun things. I was so sick last. I kept putting it off and finally I just had to ship because I have a three-day shipping time which eBay thankfully allows but last week's was so good. I had a vintage, I'll, sh I'll pop in a photo, a vintage $366 little mini working lantern that when you hit it, like you press the button battery on the bottom, um, it illuminated and it was from the 60s and it was handmade in gold and it was so pretty. And then I had some other things that weren't clothing and jewelry. I know I do a lot of clothing and jewelry, but um, you missed it. So there was no filming it. Here is my pile of Jilson Roberts tissue paper. And I think we're going to start with the seashells. I have yet to be to the beach. Um, we went to a beach in Ruskin, just checking out the area maybe three months ago. Ruskin is about 20 to 30 minutes from us, which I had never heard of it until I moved into this house. But they have beaches, of course, up and down the coast. What am I cutting here? Let me stay down there. And we didn't go in the water. We didn't even um, touch the sand because that wasn't, we were just exploring. We had a fun day of exploring. But it was nice. And I do see people getting back in the water. My husband uh, has been sick, but is getting better. Solidly, actively getting, I would go for much better almost. Um, so I know we will swim and we usually do that at the very end of April. The water for most people right now is fine, but we have lived here long enough that we don't want to have to get used to it. If you're getting in the water and you're like, oh, oh it's too cold, too cold. When you've already driven, you know, for like a half hour or whatever, and you live here and you can go kind of any day, it kind of spoils you. It does spoil you. I'd rather just go directly into the water, and usually that doesn't happen until May. <laughs> so even sometimes in May, it's still a little cold, but you get used to it really quickly at that point. And then maybe July, August, September is perfect, like bath water perfect, and that's, that's our favorite time to go. Okay, we have sheet masks. I'm going to go with the yellow. And then I had pulled a whole bunch of business cards. We'll go with You Are Enough. I thought I pulled some beachy ones. Did I not? I did. You haven't seen these cards in quite some time. I placed another Vista card order because I've been selling more of these. And these are, I think, um, 16 to $18 per 100 shipped. I make very little on these cards. I make less than a penny on each card. Um, but it allows me to order them in bulk, so it's cheaper for me, hence cheaper for you, and it's not a money-making product, but I do appreciate those who are also using them and buying them. The first one, you know well, I don't, I don't have my glasses on, and this tripod, I tried yet another, it might not look like it, but it's a whole nother setup. Um, it says, you are enough, you are so enough, it is unbelievable how enough you are. And then on the back, just, I am enough. And it gives you a little bit of room if you were to put a sticker or thank you. And then the beach one, um, I love it because it's embossed. So you could 
you could feel it almost, you could read it. It's not braille, of course, unfortunately. Should have went with unfortunately and not of course. Um, we are like seashells upon a beach, beautiful and unique, each with its own story to tell. And it is an aqua color, which is my favorite. And then on the back, it says, you are enough, you are so enough. So we're gonna go with those. And I also picked up, I got all the ribbon this time, not just the pink. Last time, I had a lot of pink ribbon. I don't know why. And now that I'm looking at it, pink ribbon will probably go best. Blue will not. I do gold. And that was from Amazon. Rarely do I buy Amazon ribbon um, because I find so much of it thrifting but I haven't been thrifting a whole bunch. I'm getting back into it now, of course. Hopefully that's enough. And I needed some colors that I didn't have. So I thought, I think this whole pack was about maybe 10 to $13. That's a pretty good deal for that many colors. All right. I think that looks lovely. told you what the thing was. <laughs> I swear this is my job. <laughs> this is a blue salt. Um, I'll just pop it a photo. That's so funny. I'm hoping that's what it was. Was that a blue salt? I think that's what it is. Uh, ivory top. It was um, one that I had worn, I would say, to death. It had no holes, but a lot of pilling. It was one of my first pieces, so I've had it for years and years, and I would wear it almost every day and wash it, and so I um, finally sold it. I, I wore it to the point where I, I wasn't comfortable even inside my house wearing it. I, I put that you could tie-dye it or just like wear it for pajamas, and I sold it for $13 plus shipping, which is absolutely fine with me because I didn't even pay $13 for it. So um, that was great, but they do retail usually for about $150, the blue salt pieces. Okay, purchase. And this is headed to Laura. Where are you, Laura? Laura is, oh, Laura must have used one of those services. It's a service I don't recognize that ships internationally. So I'm gonna guess, I shouldn't guess. It's going to um, like a international shipping company, kind of, uh, in Illinois. Huh, anyway, very interesting because I'm sure she had to pay a lot to ship this twice and it's a flawed, I hope she's okay. Not her mental status. I don't know why I just said that. I I hope she's okay with the kid. I hope she knows what she bought. Okay. I also hope her, her mental <laughs> condition's okay. Sorry, Laura. Do the yellow, and this one is from Smile Mail. You pack and ship, and it is a pale yellow and white dandelion. Dandelion? Dandelion. Yes, I like dandelions very much, and we don't have any here. Back in Pennsylvania, my father-in-law tried to get my husband to kill all the dandelions because he couldn't understand why. I just wanted to see, we had um, some land there, and a house, uh, but over an acre of land. And I just wanted to look out and see all the dandelions blowing. I love dandelions. Who doesn't love dandelions? But, you know, he really prided himself with taking care of his grass as best as he could. And Bear did not kill the dandelions. He stood up for me. 14.1, so we round up to 15. And the shipping is $8. That can't be 15 ounces, 10 by 10 by 2. Let's go. Let's 
Universal Sign. Okay, that's because it defaulted to priority, but I am going to ground advantage. And so my cost is $6.16. Do I know how much she paid? She paid me $10 for shipping. She paid 13 for the shirt, but she it looks like she paid in total $31. So she paid an extra $8 on top of the $10 to get it to her wherever she is. In my head, she's like in the UK. I don't know why. Laura, it's just a generic name. She could be anywhere, but um, interesting. So I don't get any of that $8 that goes, no, I, I honestly don't know how that works. I wouldn't get any of the $8. I just get the $9.99 that I charged her. So odd. And print. I have a bit of a delay lately. Oh, no, I am not out of paper. We are definitely not out of paper here. Um, on this printer, I was gonna say there's a bit of a delay lately. I can just switch over to my secondary printer. I'm gonna cut this, which I wouldn't need to, but I'm gonna give this the best possible shot I've got. So the label did print, but it's going to print again. And it still thinks it's out of paper. It's printing like a full label and then the label and then this one doesn't even have the tracking number. Okay. Second thought we can do, because now we're stuck to, unless I refund, we're going to go with the four by uh, four inch by six inch. I can print it and I could print it to my regular printer until I figure that out because it printed, but it printed in between two separate labels and then it printed again and now it says the paper is out. So we will go with another printer today, which is why I have more than one. <laughs> People always, you know, they just stop me um, and approach me on the street that I'm just walking all over, um, ask me if Dymo is a better printer than Rolo. And I would say at this point, I recommend Rolo. I recommended Rolo to my mom when she asked, to Ann Eckhart when she asked. I would probably, I'm um, reusing these blank stickers as tape. They're just as good. Um, I would probably recommend Rolo. They're about the same price at this point, and they're both thermal printers. I have two Dymos, and to be honest, I made probably about $2,000 off of the one setup video that people refer back to. It's like five years old, and it just keeps bringing money in, so I should probably make a new one of that, but <laughs> or make the Rolo one, buy the Rolo, and then make a couple grand from that. I probably won't do that though. This is very mishy-mashy and I'm sorry, International Laura, but my, my Dymo just does not like me. I rarely have issues with it, it's just been lately. Okay, well, all this can now go in the garbage. put some stickers on. We'll put a nice big thank you sticker and she'll get a few extra stickers because we covered up almost the entire print of poor Laura's package. So there's Laura's package with some extra stickers. <laughs> the next item, let's see. I think I said I have like maybe 20 items. And then two people have yet to pay. Oh, and we just sold two more items to Mary. Hi, Mary. I love Mary. Okay, so I'll have to, to get those as well. Let's go in order, though. 
um, using my Lululemon bag. We actually did sell something from Lululemon, so I might include this bag, but I used it to pull everything. This is a tail, T-A-I-L, woman's polo top. I went the wrong way with that. And we will just put this down. And then just maybe fold this over. It's such a pretty print, and I'm so glad somebody liked it. And they paid $20, Kathy Hughes. Kathy, I think I recognize your name, and it's not showing that you are a repeat buyer. So if you are a first-time buyer, thank you so much. And if not, thank you so much as well. Shall we go with one of my favorite papers? I think we shall, because this it's kind of like a mixy-matchy print, but in real life, it looks really pretty. This was my first tissue paper, my first Jilson Roberts tissue paper about five, maybe six years ago that got me started on this and now I just love it. I can't believe they still make it because they just continue. When I go through my Amazon um, order history and look at all of the tissue papers that I've ordered from Jilson Roberts, and completely forgot about. I was like, what was that tissue paper? I don't even remember that at all. But they just must have used it for one year and I only ordered that one bulk order. But there's so many. I, I truly, this is gonna sound ridiculous. If my husband was listening, he'd be like, what? I wish I would have saved one sheet of each tissue paper, which probably would have been over a hundred sheets of tissue paper in like a scrapbook or something, or maybe just a little bit of it, because it's kind of fun to go back and see. that The sentimental side of me wanted to do that, but I can just do that on Amazon or in their old catalogs, because it's fun to see which ones, I don't know, for me at least. And Justin Roberts has pretty much stayed the same. They haven't really added, they've added new prints, but their paper um, has stayed true to being made in uh, Italy. Um, I'm guessing on the same machines or upgraded machines, but it hasn't changed one bit. I am putting this very cheery, cheery yellow. I needed a little bit of sunshine today. So what do we have to match this? We absolutely are using that one. That's a perfect match. We will use one of those and one of those. She's getting three for no good reason. Where does she live? Okay, so we are going to do stay close to people who feel like sunshine. Oh, there's a, there's a blue and a gold shimmer there. This extra one, I have a few extras. Um, dance like no one is watching because they are not there on their phones. That was more just a cheeky one. So if you order from my website, any of those I just toss in for free. I don't count those. Those are just a fun little thing that, that I wanted to do. And you have done enough to be loved. And uh, this was a custom wallpaper that I decided to put on the back of the business card but then the front, I muted it, so it's at like a 50%, so you could really see the embossing, and I embossed them twice, so it, it gives it a really nice feel to the card. And it matches, I mean, truly so perfectly. She will also get a sheet mask, because I am out of the other ones. I have to order more eye masks from Amazon. And where did I put my poly mailers? <laughs> oh, here they are on the top. They're usually on the bottom. Threw myself for a loop there. Okay. Let's go with a bright pink. Keep it in the floral family there. I think that'll be a nice with the placenta. Santa mask. Hopefully nobody's reading these masks. They do really work. I'm sure there's real 
not really a placenta in there, but um, yeah. The color of the placenta mask matched the packaging. Okay, let's give this away. This should be first class mail, and I'm still using that term first class mail, even they've changed it now. Ground advantage. It rounds up to 10. Now, I had somebody need help the other day with their Dymo. They uninstalled it, reinstalled it, they couldn't figure out what would, and it was such a simple thing, and I'm so glad I was able to help. When you're entering the dimensions, and it would say ship your order, and you put in 10 ounces, 12 by 12 by two, on the right-hand column, all the way down, you should be able to see it. If you can't, there might be like a little drop-down box. Under print format, Right now, mine is defaulting to the four by six. So if I click change, a box pops up, or should, click it again if it doesn't, and I can go back and forth between my eight by 11 sheet, a four by six, and only for USPS. So if you're doing this for FedEx or UPS, you can't do it, but a seven by two. And that is for the um, Dymo 450s and the 450 turbos. So it won't matter if it's a PDF or PNG, I just leave mine defaulted to PDF and it'll stay. So with, since I'm switching printers, I'm going to put it on the seven by two. They paid $5.99 for shipping and Kathy is also in Florida, so she should get it probably Tuesday or Wednesday at the latest. And my cost is $4.95 go ahead and purchase that and see how my other printer does. <laughs> Come on other printer. Print. It looks different. It looks good. Now I will have to change my printer because I have mine set up to default to my other one. And the longer labels, the seven by two are called nine nine zero one nine labels. But it is the Dymo five digit code for those labels. So when I need to replace these, I go on Amazon and the Dymo ones are always too expensive. So I just buy cheap ones, good review ones, but cheap ones. And they are the 99019. So, and you can see, just to make sure all of our, you can see that label is longer. That is the two inch by just over seven inch label. I guess I could have showed you. Anyway, thank you so much, Kathy. And next up, who is next? It's only showing me three of my 17 orders. I don't wanna do those three. I didn't pull those three yet. my internet is slow. Maybe everything is slow today. It is Sunday. Oh, I hope I pulled this. I don't think I pulled this. Well, we'll have to skip it. It is the most beautiful thing. And we will go to another beautiful thing. I have to go pull probably five or six items after this is done anyway that have already sold. Well, we've been chit-chatting. That's what happens, business just doesn't stop. Thank you for allowing my business not to stop. <laughs> okay, loved, loved, loved this. She purchased Kathy, different Kathy, but I'm going to check. Yes, very similar. Um, loved this. I would have kept this myself if I had any notion of how to wear it or where to wear it. And once you see the photo, you'll see why, because it's it's like a remade. Somebody took um, almost a Ben style classic Oxford shirt and cut it off and then attached a skirt, but they left the front open. So you could like button it or unbutton it, or it's, it's like cover up-y, but you'd need probably leggings or a different skirt underneath it. I don't know, it just, it's too much work in my head when I get ready for the day. 
<laughs> I'm putting that on quotes. Um, today I actually wore like, you know, a shirt I recently got, but I still just have on gray sweatpants. Okay, let's do, I think this one deserves the butterflies because of the colors. They look really pretty together. Kathy is in Texas. Cut this a little bit shorter on this side so the other side comes out larger. I really need to switch scissors. Those scissors are not cutting. We'll go to the vintage ones. There we go. Now we're left with a nice big sheet for Kathy, our second Kathy. Today we had somebody pick up something from Facebook Marketplace and we are supposed to be having somebody come uh, for a secondary item. Nothing exciting. One of the items was a hose keeper you'll see in maybe last video or upcoming video. I uploaded it last night and it is about a three hour video with Bear and myself doing bins hauls. And that sold, and then he sold our pressure washer. It was not working correctly, so he sold it. Um, we bought it for 75, and it wasn't going to be worth it to do what we needed with it to, to properly fix it. So we got 36, but we are on the third person in line who wants it. Um, and I hate giving out our address just to random people but both people so far seemed like they really really wanted it and then they were like nope we don't want it so i was like okay people are busy i understand okay let's go with these let's do the you have done enough to be loved with the wallpaper and then the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit it's very shiny and this one has a little high and it matches. Um, I made those match so that way I can leave a thank you card, which I will do here. Just gonna put thanks, Kathy. The heart and my name. I don't always do that, but I thought that would be fun since they match. And let's use a yellow one. And the yellow is Royal Jelly a Essence Mask. I think this is gonna come close to a pound. I'm gonna say it's gonna be under, but it's close. Oh, huh, we're 13.2, we're okay. Let's go with this top one, it is a pink and gold floral and then the other side says thank you for supporting my small business but the sticker goes over it so you really can't ever see that part of it so with the mailer it'll probably be 14 or 15 ounces 14 not 14 pounds, that would make a difference. And she paid total, did I say what she paid? 64.99, but I think she got 25% off. I think she bought this with the sale. Let's see. Yes, I sold it. Tell me how much I sold it for. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 64.99 minus 24% it looks like the discount was 16 something so roughly $48 about and then she paid 9.99 to ship it and we are going ground advantage yes and we are okay once in a while because now I'm not using a post office to ship um, it just 
generates back if I like change anything. I just want to make sure that my return address is the correct one and not my old post office. Okay, switch back to the printer and print. Now, if I put this here, she could at least see the thank you. Which is good enough. She doesn't know, she doesn't need to know I'm a small business. Just says thank you now. Thank you, Kathy, number two. Okay, next item. Maybe. See what else is in the bag. Got some Nike shorts. Will you bring those up? Are those remotely next? They are. This is a very big bag for these little Nike shorts. These I probably purchased at the bins for me and then wore them a few times and then determined I did not like them. Um, I sent an offer for $5 to somebody and they accepted it and then they paid $5.99 to ship it. And this is headed to Georgia love the name of your town um and shan i can say this shandria shandria i bet you just shandria either if you're shandria or shandria thank you um let's do the polka dots or the cats or the neon let's go neon such hard decisions The neon will match the pink though. And I'm still sitting a hundred percent feedback. I cannot believe it. Everybody's been very lovely. It's not that I've never gotten a neutral or a negative, either they've fallen off. There was a time there I got very sick, and oh, that's a fun story. Maybe I'll tell it today. Um, and friends needed to come help package almost 1,200 items sold. Oh, definitely over 1,000. Um, and I rightfully got some negatives because they did not know what they were doing. Neither could I communicate with them because of how sick I was. Um, so, but those, it's been years and years, a gajillion years ago, before my mom did eBay. Or people have nicely removed them, which is what happens last. I think it was the last shipping video or the shipping video, but still, still 100%. Can't keep that up, but we'll try. Okay, we'll go with the yellow. And this one is also the royal jelly. And what card shall we go with? This one's such a fun. Do that one. Oh, I like this one a lot. We'll go with these two. This one says you have done enough to be loved, but it is a marble with a black font and a sheen. And then this one is square. It's my only square one. Um, also really nice. They're all very high quality. It says, let your beautiful soul explode with happiness. And it is a dark blue with a floral print on it. And both of these, well, this one has just the marble. This one is blank on the back. Shall I do a tie dye? Ooh. I think I like that better. That's pretty good, right? I think so. So a long time ago, <laughs> probably about 15 years ago, I became an egg donor for a couple in Boston who could not have children. And I went through all the processes. Um, I did not get paid to do this. They did cover most of my medical bills, but I didn't, there's different ways to do it and I did not. 
Uh, not judging anybody for anything. Okay, that is six ounces. And I had set it up so they would go and retrieve the eggs right before we were to start another job because egg retrieval is not supposed to be a big thing. Here we go. This is headed to, oh, I already did this part. <laughs> to, still to Chan Chandria, Chandria in Georgia, okay. I already had it up. I was distracting myself by talking. Okay, so she paid $5.99 and my cost, because she's fairly close to me in Georgia's the state north of us, is $4.38. So when they went in to retrieve the eggs, they accidentally nicked something and I bled internally for a long time and they didn't realize it. And then three days later, they still didn't realize it and sent me back home and I was put in the hospital uh, for 10 days and I lost my ovary and flipping tube and all of that to say we weren't able to take the job at that exact time but the people were wonderful, wonderful and held the job for us. <laughs> However, because I was doing eBay full time and we were taking a job that brought us out of state, I had about 1,300 items at the time that I put, now mind you, this is like 15 years ago, eBay was a lot different, all auctions starting at 99 cents. And they had been items that I'd been selling for either like 10 to maybe $200. So almost everything sold. So I had assumed, because I had been told, that they weren't supposed to nick you, um, that you know, you'd be in the hospital maybe a day, I don't even know if overnight. Thank you, I'm hoping I'm seeing this right. Um, Ch Chandria, Chandria, thank you so much, and your name is lovely. Uh, that they would, you know, and, and we had like two weeks in between eBay and the hospital and retrieving the eggs, and it was like two weeks at home to get ready, and I thought, I'll come back and ship everything. And then I got back and needed surgery and it took a few months to heal from that. So my mom and sister flew in um, and we had friends help and I heard it was chaotic fun, but I was quite sick. So I didn't get to experience any of that, that fun. And poor Bear, was that was probably one of the worst times of his life if you ask him. This is the LuLaRoe item. Let's leave that. That's not the next item, is it? No. We'll do this one next. This is a blue salt. That sounded very Long Island to me. Blue salt. Blue salt. A sweater, a v neck. And this one sold for $59.99 minus 25%. And the black and white classic. It is headed to Afshan, and they are in New Jersey. We are going to cut this because I do not need that much. And I'm guessing this is going to be pretty close to a pound as well. So I probably charged them about $9.99. I did. I asked my sister just the other day, New Jersey, New York, even into Pennsylvania, felt um, some of the earthquake. Uh, my sister did not feel it, but other uh, family members did. I've only ever felt, I think, I think, um, one earthquake, and it was when we were in Pennsylvania uh, working, and I was standing at the front desk. It was not a bad earthquake. We didn't lose any of the china on like the cupboard walls or anything, artwork. We didn't lose anything. 
but everybody's like, what was that? I was like, I think that was an earthquake. But we were mostly just pebbles. <laughs> And white, you could do so much with it. Make sure we get enough of that. But I don't think I've ever been through an earthquake past that. And even that one, that one was, we weren't even close. That one was just like a little bit of a movement. did have a tornado come through when we lived at our house in Pennsylvania, um, but mostly the neighbor's farm uh, had the damage. We didn't have too much damage. We had no damage to the house whatsoever. Okay, we will do, you have done enough to be loved. Nope, we can't do that one because that one says the same thing. We will do the, you have done enough to be loved and the you are enough classic card. Yes. Not. I heard the other day, probably from somebody here in the community or on our Facebook page. I'm so glad we have a community Facebook page. It really helps. Oh, this is going to be really close. We're at 15 ounces, so that's great. Not an ounce over. I went crazy with the bag. Um, that we're supposed to have a really bad earthquake. Nope. Hurricane. Hurricane season this year. But just about once a year we get, you know, we get a scare. It hasn't hit us directly since we've lived here. In a long time, too. Tampa is over 100 years, I think, since we've had a major hurricane. Okay. Round and this is 15 and we are doing 10 by 10 by 3 ish doesn't have to be perfect ground advantage good and print so bear had to borrow a friend's pressure washer to pressure wash the rest of our house something we wanted to do during the spring and the community does ask that you hire somebody to do it or have it done. We have some really pretty landscaping in the neighborhood, which means there's some moist areas and they don't want mold to grow on the houses or, you know, they just want the upkeep to look nice. And it does, he did a great job. And we found out that our local library lends them, but there it was at least, I think, four people ahead of us. So we figured we'll add our name to the list, and if we still need one by then, because, you know, I think it could take them out for a few weeks, it could be months, um, maybe we'll pressure wash again. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ashton. I'm going to take a quick break because I don't have any liquids close by, and I will be back. Well, it is now almost 8 p.m. I did get something to drink, and then I decided I was hungry, so I had something to eat, and then I decided um, I needed to use the bathroom, and then I decided to take a nap. <laughs> so it's 8 o'clock, and we are continuing to do this, and I did pull not only the thing I forgot to pull, which is very exciting, but the other things that sold. Um, a little disheveled. I just slept with all my makeup on and stuff. I did take this shirt off because ugh. I can't just go sleeping around in regular people clothes. Okay. The thing that I forgot to show you. Oh. I just put a photo of But it's so pretty in real life. It'll show up nice on the photo too. It is a J Crew. A uh, brand new collection, J. Crew Collection Skirt 6T, which is their six tall. And I sold it for $59.99 minus 25% plus shipping. That's the one I forgot to pull. Okay. 
there is laying down. I don't know if he's asleep or not, but he did a little bit of outside painting and he's going to be very sore. He said that. I would agree, but I, he's, he's going to be sore. We're doing things in little bits here. And if he wants to paint for a little bit, we are let him paint for a little bit. It's going to be too hot to be out there comfortably. He usually doesn't care. I care. I don't want to be out there midday painting in like probably another month or two. It's just going to be too warm. Yes, it will. And that is when our pool time and our beach time starts kicking up. We did also talk about trying to make a trip back to Pennsylvania. We talk about this every year. Um, it'd be, I, we can't decide, it's not about a money thing, thankfully. We would either need to fly in and stay next to my mom's house for like maybe two or three days to see those people. Maybe a trip to Long Island to see the rest of my family for two or three days. And then a trip back to where we used to live for like a week. So that would be like two weeks. Except the last time we left, we didn't leave the state. Last time we went to Mayo Clinic, it was a five hour trip and it was exhausting. We just, so if we drove, we would have to get at least, I think, two hotels on the way up and two down. And then do his old house first and then drive the four hours to my mom's and then possibly on to Long Island and then come home. And that's like a 25 hour trip. I, I'm not exactly sure. Also, his sister, his half-sister, lives in Georgia. 99% chance, sure, it's Georgia. So, do you want to see her? That just sounds like we can't go a day or two without somebody getting pretty sick here. So, I know he said that the last thing, that he really wants to try to get to an end. I'm sure we could make it happen. It would just... It'd be a lot for him to, first of all, stop singing, even a couple gigs a week, we'd have to reschedule and then shut off eBay. This is headed to Allison in California, and she paid $5.99 shipping, a poly mailer. Um, it just seems like a lot, a lot. And we would need to get hotels while we're there because if we didn't feel well, we would need, a, you know, a place to escape. Now, if I get a hysterectomy, which I won't know for at least another week or so, but this is the question she asked my gynecologist, the specialist gynecologist asked in October and I said yeah we're probably there in October and then Bear of course took precedence so we're still there um, and I know that recovery my next door across the door <laughs> across the street Ever, across the street um, had it done in October I think and she was doing okay it's about a a month-ish but you can be up and walking and I usually do okay with that kind of stuff but probably not like okay let's go drive 40 something hours round trip that just sounds crazy and if we fly then we have to rent a hotel of course and then fly to the next location and rent a car it just seems it just sounds crazy Okay. I would love to see everybody though. Some people put their car on a train. 
I get really bad um, motion sickness. Not always, but I always have nausea meds on me and I get pretty nauseous from going up and down elevators. Cars aren't as bad. Planes aren't great. I don't know. And like boats are really horrendous. I don't know how sick I'd be on a train. But that's a thought too. Again, I, I don't think we really want to be bare six foot six on a train. I don't know what a train car <laughs> seat would be for him, but whole thing sounds but I know I would love to get him back to to Pennsylvania okay next let's do this whatever's in here Lululemon tank top this is a black and kind of coral and blue tank top and they are not the people getting the Lululemon bag because we have somebody with something brand new Lululemon. And this is Aubrey. Aubrey. Uh, I just want to make sure. I know a couple people repeated orders. Okay. Here we go. And it is blue with a hot pink. Let's go with the, I know we've done this one. Should we do? Maybe it's on the cats. The cats are so fun. They have pink in them. We'll do the cats. Tonight we're hoping to, come on, we could do this, you and me. Hoping to get to the pool, but I'm not sure what the weather is. I will be so excited when it's just like not a thought. Like, let's just go to the pool and swim and float. That'll be nice. Where do you live, Aubrey? She is in California. The rest of this week, I think we have one or two doctor's appointments. I think one is telehealth, thankfully. Uh, Bear plays three times this week, all different days, of course. And then I think I'm going to um, do all of the bins stuff. I went thrifting four times last week or the week before, I guess now, and twice was to the bins. And so I need to wash everything, hang everything, steam in everything. And then I guess we can use this pink ribbon. And then photograph it and list it, of course. So I'll probably work on that. That should be fun. That also means I probably won't need to thrift this week, which is good. I am sleeping okay, so that's helpful. But until we know, um, what's happening with my uterus. I don't want to go crazy. Okay. And some pineapple pink cats. That kind of goes. $13, which means I sent them an offer 
and then she paid $4.99 for shipping and my shipping is $4.68. We have a group chat, my sister, my brother's fiance, and my sister's sister-in-law and me, four women in a group chat um, that do the Wordle every day. And I am not very good. I I think all of us are pretty much on the same level. I don't, nobody keeps track of it all together, thankfully. Um, my brother's fiance has gotten it in two or three the last two days. And the last two days have been pretty hard. I won't spoil it, I mean, but you're gonna see this days later. It was voila and the word before voila uh, on three, um, I used viola. So I had all of the letters, just the I and the O needed to be swapped. And I was like, oh, at that point I was done with the game. <laughs> I like when it's a fun thing and not when you're just like trying random words. But I have also been doing that when I wake up, connections. Um, strands, which I know some people can get to and some people can. It's in beta testing. And then the New York Times mini crossword. I am not smart enough for the regular crossword, especially in the morning. Okay. Now we have these Lululemon Studio Savannah socks in like a wine color. And we have lemon bag that we're going to wrap them in. Because how fun is that? And these aren't very heavy, so um, they won't really add to the bulk of the package. Let's get it. A little bit of ribbon. And we will tie a little bit of ribbon around. And that way it'll be a little bit easier when we ship with the tissue paper. There we go. Okay. What haven't we used? Red. I don't think we've used um, this one yet. And this has that kind of burgundy color. So we'll go with this kind of southwestern print. Hi. You're going to walk? there. I had to cut a little hole and I'll put a little sticker over the hole. Yeah. And my husband is headed to walk, which is awesome because he did quite a bit today. He was outside probably for about two hours. We we're trying to come up with things we look forward to doing and past the beach because we've just both just not been feeling well. And they kind of have to be not spontaneous things, but if either one of us feels really poorly that day, they'd have to be, be able to be canceled or altered. We've been to local museums. There's a planetarium not too far away that might be our answer. Um, I love planets and stars. Who doesn't? And um, I think he'd enjoy it too. He said he would. And our library has local passes on how to get on for free or something. I don't, e I don't even think it's that much money. It's maybe five or ten dollars, but I called the library yesterday. I should have asked them about the library. A lot of 
hobbies here at the community. Like we have um, bridge club and cards and you can go on cruises and go out to eat with people and they bring in food trucks every week and there's a lot of that sense of community I, I unless it's an activity I'm not very good just by myself not without bear I'm just not very I don't chit chat properly or the right way or something here I'm just you know, in front of you, and this took a long time to get to this spot even, but I don't really know what to ask people, and I, I don't think that's uncommon. Like, if somebody tells me about themselves, I, I am listening. I am waiting to be interested. Just <laughs> interest me. I don't know. It's not like a performance or anything. It's just like anything we can connect on, but a lot of times, because my life is very much home by choice, Oh, Miriam, <laughs> Miriam, you had another item. We're going to sneak it in here. That's so funny. Um, and I don't really love to do too much else. I'm like, oh, I really like to list on eBay. That's not usually a, you know, a thing that people have in common in, in the real life world. She has, um, the, her second item is. This vintage flippable ring. It looks like two rings. And then it, I researched these. I don't know why they're still not making them. They're so cool. The stone is amethyst. And then the other one, I can't, I have no idea. I don't know if it was meant to be a stone or a starburst. It's, it's big on me, which means it's an eight. Don't lose at me. Um, and she loved it because her birthstone was the purple, the amethyst, amethyst. And she's hoping to, I don't know how, how she's going to do it, maybe grind out the other stone and add citrine for her husband, which I think is an amazing idea. I really do. I would not know the slightest thing about that. So, um... Hopefully she can do that. If not, it's still really cool. They seem to go for more than this, but mine wasn't in great condition, which I noted, of course. And she paid 20 for this, and the socks were 31. And I already refunded her for this. And now all we have to do is put it in this bag. I'll probably just reprint the label. Probably have a smaller piece in there. I do. That's the perfect little piece. I think it would be fun to have some kind of like in theory, in theory, it'd be fun in my head to have some come like a game night with set games. Like I like apples. Well, I don't even know. Maybe, maybe not. That was like a college thing. I liked playing games, but I've liked playing games for a while. I don't, the new, I don't really know newer games, so maybe I, I wouldn't. I don't know. But just to invite people over to talk is, oh, no, please don't do that. Please don't come to my house to talk unless you're bringing some kind of PowerPoint presentation and then I'm all in. You want to teach me about the history of literally anything? Great. No, I just talk. Like my mail carrier at one time, like, oh, how have you been? Good. What did you do last week? Um, probably everything I did last week, I don't remember. I ate? It's a weird question. Seriously, like, my mom was like, oh, no. <laughs> I don't remember a single thing about last week. I was like, you know. But, like, it took way too long. It, I... Okay, Miriam, we are good to go now. 
thankfully I did not have to make aisle chit chat with your package. And I also don't really have any hobbies. I like to learn about hobbies, like reading or viewing videos, and then that's enough of the hobby for me. Rarely do I actually want to participate. Sounds awful. Okay, we're up to 13 ounces. So if somebody was like, well, show me what you made. I'd be like, um, nothing. I made this package and I put it together, but it didn't make anything It hard. I don't know. Nobody would be asking me that. <laughs> it's a lot of anxiety. Yeah. I know how to order pizza. I didn't used to know how. Okay, 6.33. It's not that I didn't used to know how. It was just that I didn't or couldn't make myself say the right things on the phone. So I would need to write it down. But writing it down helped. I still screw it up sometimes though. But thankfully, I don't order pizza number one. Unless my sister's here. Then I still get Pizza Hut coupons. Pizza Hut, like once a week, will send me coupons. And I'll be like, oh, Felisa's here. I don't know why, that's the only time. Okay. Thank you so much, Miriam. Next. We have 11 items, and I think I have most, if not all, of them pulled. Oh, I need to get her shipping label for the ring because she had the two items. So if I go to orders and go to shipping labels, and there it is, and copy. Uh, tracking, thank you for making that easier, eBay. eBay has been fixing some of the codes, and this week I've realized they have not fixed a lot of the code. But they are working on things. Okay. Z, uh, no. D, D, E, E, purchased 100 uh, um, business cards, inspirational cards. So I already counted those out, gave her a few more. And just a few little note cards. Um, and she purchased some vintage hoop earrings. And I'm not even gonna, they look like that. Um, they look gorgeous in the photo and in real life, they are, they're really pretty. And um, the cards were $12 and the, the earrings were 18. Just wanted to make sure she didn't put anything else. Okay, good. So let's do the earrings first. A few more of those. And these are like self looping onto themselves so they don't need extra backs. Usually I include little extra backs if they need them, but they won't. I gave her a good chunk of the You Are Enough because those are the ones she really liked. But I told her she could get a hundred of those, she could do whatever. So she gave me creative control. I do have to order some more of the butterflies and the beach. these of course which I got 
them separately. Let's do separately. That way she has two things to open. It's still very dark here for eight o'clock. I keep waiting for that extra daylight to set in. I know it has, but it'll feel nice to look out at nine o'clock and know it's it's not pitch pitch black. Bear says I always use that term and it sounds dramatic. He's definitely right. And that's why I use it. Like I don't know how to use pitch black. If you're gonna use if you're gonna be a girl who says pitch black, you have to add a little drama. It's it's not pitch black. There's a light out there. I see it. It's very little moon though. I, I don't know. I'm just assuming. But it does feel very dark. In here too. Because we have no overhead light. They put in a fan with only one on off. We don't know how to turn it off with on to low to medium to high. It's just on off fan. And then thankfully we have lamps because there's me sitting here by the glow of the computer. Which might not be bad. Um, okay, this teeny little thing. What are we wrapping you in? Can you get wrapped in this? I'm going to make this even tinier. We went to a pawn, nope, an earring store the other day that accepts gold um, jewelry. Because my last jewelers and pa, pawn, pawn shop, pawn shop, um, we're both in Bradenton and the jewelry store closed down. So bummed for him. He, his dad had been there for so many years and he had been there and I went, I don't know, maybe once a year and collected gold in a bag, silver in a bag and he would buy it. I usually snap my finger for some police report thing. And so when they closed, I've been collecting all the stuff and some of it I really think is fake, but you know, you have to have it tested anyway. So I went to a jewelry shop, a really nice jewelry shop. <laughs> they were so amazing. And um, one of the really thin, like really thin, tiny, I think it was a size four um, rings that had already the stones taken out. I'm guessing they were diamonds. Um, was 14 karat golds or 18 karat golds? I can't remember. But she said she'd give me 45 for it, but um, all the st sterling will break, need to be brought to the pawn shop. So I did get the $45 from her, which was very nice. I think I'm gonna go with the bright one. And because she already has the business cards, I included some extra cards. Um, and she recommended a pawn shop, so I have to go do that this week. But even for, I mean, it was it was so tiny. She, they said, um, ninety percent is what they give, which I was fine with that because it had no stones in it. It was junk gold. But when we were, she said, "No, nah, look around, da da da." We looked at a few things. We looked at some gorgeous. Um, stones. Bear was looking at watches there for a little bit. But two of the stones stood out for me. Okay, so we are 8.9. So we round up to nine for the business cards and for the earrings. Okay. She paid again 12 for the business cards. I don't remember what I said for the earrings. Maybe 20 and um, $5.99 for shipping, but I refunded for some of it for the extra, so whatever, it worked out, she was happy. Um, one of them was a aqua, see, <laughs> see something tourmaline, see tourmaline. 
sea foam tourmaline. That's what he said it was. And I said that sea foam stone, what is that? I said, is, that can't be created from heat. And he said, no, it's natural. And he said, it's tourmaline. And as soon as he saw it, because I saw the, um, the watermelon tourmaline sitting in the same case, I should have put two and two together easily. But he, we then like walked around the store and admired some gorgeous pieces. And he brought it over and put it on my finger and it fit my finger to my, my perfect size. Except he said, and he was definitely right. Um, it was a vintage piece and they wanted just a mere 8,500 for it, which wasn't, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I know nothing about anything with jewelry, even though I sell it. Um, just looking at it, the, the stone was really big and the color was amazing. Bear really thought it was a peridot. Oh my goodness. Let's not tell the man you think it's a peridot. We might hurt that man's heart. So he let me put it on and he said I would set it differently and I said I would set it differently too. So I said how I would set it and then she was ready. So I never got to hear how he was gonna set it. Oh, so now I'm all bummed about that. And then they had a huge case of gorgeous, like highly saturated blue purple um, tanzanite. I haven't I've seen Tanzanite, a lot of Tanzanite, I used to own Tanzanite. I guess I haven't seen a lot, of, I've seen a lot of Tanzanite for some reason. Anyway, the Seafoam Tourmaline, I, I don't even know how big this piece was. This was big. Like what would a 10 carat look like? Is that a thing? Is anybody doing this a real? I bet you it was even bigger than that. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it was definitely bigger than a 10 carat. It was really pretty. <laughs> the way they had it cut was so nice. Um, all of the, uh, back to the blues and the um, purples. All of, uh, I'm just not gonna be able to get that out of my head, get that out of my head. I don't even want that. It was just so, it was so pretty. And it was so nice that he, he came over and put it on my thing, knowing I would absolutely never. 1%. There's a meme online that's like, if I won the lottery, you wouldn't know, but there would be signs. So if I had this giant aqua seafoam green stone, which would probably hurt my finger or like just drive me crazy and I'd be knocking it into things, but that would be the sign that we win whatever lotto we'd be playing in this realm. Anyway, the Tanzanite were really pretty, really pretty saturation. Okay, I am adding the tracking and trying to have a thought that stays on this track. Okay, next is Kaylin. Kaylin, did you buy a secondary item? Thought you did. Thought you did, Kaylin. Did you not? Has anybody not paid for their item? No, doesn't look like it. Everybody's paid. Okay, huh. Okay, Kaylin. You purchased. I don't know why I thought you purchased two items. I'm looking again. I really thought so. No. Okay. It is um, the the swag. Kind of put it on your collar. Wear the sun and swims the moon. Love it. Oh, this would have been a perfect piece of wear. To, to, when did she order this? She ordered it yesterday. Okay. I was hoping she hadn't ordered it like two days ago, hoping to get it in time for the eclipse because it would be the perfect eclipse jewelry. Let's see where she is. Hopefully she's not right in the path of totality. Oh, gotta plan your eclipse jewelry. 
Seriously, I am really glad I didn't screw that up though. I mean, I have three day shipping time, but you know, we could work around that if somebody needs something for an eclipse. I think I've done that different than any other time in the past. Okay. Sun, moon. I don't think I have any sun nor moon papers. Well, I do. I think. I think I do. Yes, who found it? This is the perfect thing for this. I usually put it away because I think of this more as, I don't know, like an October print. But this has suns and moons and stars. And it fits the theme perfectly. And I don't have much of this left, so yay. the glasses for tomorrow because the last time we were in um, an eclipse it's vaguely like this we also had um, about maybe 40 or 50 percent and we just used cereal boxes and even just to look down everything looks so different but uh, we were not driving you know to Pennsylvania would it need it to be gonna go again. Gold goes with a lot. I need more gold ribbon um, to see, but it is, and I know it, it would be crazy. People said, you know, what was supposed to take an hour to drive was taking like eight hours last, last eclipse. So it's such a cool thing to see. Okay. Uh, purchase. Let's get her some cards. I think I even do, I have a left that mention. This one goes with that really well. I think those are the two that's going to make the cut. Um, we haven't done this one yet, but I think it matches nicely. If it costs you your mental health, it is too expensive. It's very shiny. And then uh, there's a little fox on the back that says you are enough. And then the classic, you are enough. Uh, we'll do butterflies. And get this away. I am curious to see how much I'll get for the rest of the items I have, because I'm guessing I have a lot of um, broken sterling. I'm gonna guess at least a hundred. Okay, three ounces. And Kaylin is in Oklahoma. I did say that, right? Is that um, eclipse half of totality? I don't don't think it starts that far west. It starts in Arkansas. Well, Texas. But no. We were really, really close. Wonder if she's driving though. Still, she won't have this. Just get over it. She can't wear it, me. You've ruined it. Okay. So 411 is what I am charging her. But in all of our minds, let's pretend she definitely wore this to the eclipse tomorrow. In your mind, it'll have to be she wore it in the past.
Thank you, Kaylin. I'm sure you looked beautiful on the day of total totality wearing that exact brooch. We thank you for your service. Next. Okay. Stephanie, Cindy, Pamela, different Cindy, Louisa, Mary, Mary, Michelle. Okay, let's go with Michelle, because she's on top. She ordered a piece of clothing. And it is a Banana Republic olive blouse, which I probably would have kept this myself, except it's, was that like satiny kind of fabric? But if I had an office job, I might have tried. Um, the greens. I don't know that we've done cacti yet. Montana, I would guess, but we have the trusty card, Missouri, C, <laughs> M, O, M, O, Missouri. My brain does not like that. It's not your fault, not anybody else's fault, just my brain. That's probably the whole reason, one of the two reasons I have that card. And you. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Okay, we're not going to try to fix the entire system just for my brain. So, she paid $15 for this, which means I sent her an offer. And I very much like her town name. It sounds very fun. And $4.99 to ship it. Do that you have done enough to be loved and nope that says that as well and kindness is free sprinkle that stuff round like confetti which has three cupcakes I don't know it's got like a sparkle to it um, and it has raised text okay. and we will match we have some cacti succulents there they're not like a perfect match this one's more bold but you get the idea say seven seven exactly seven Clearly thirstier than I realized. Okay, so four forty seven, good. <sighs> Had a pretty good day. Seriously, yesterday was not as good as today. Today was a lot better. I'm sure it helps that I laid down more, but I needed it. A little bit more energy too. Okay, so obviously Florida is not in um, the path at all. Bummer, Florida. And what time would we see it? 
I guess I can Google that on my own time. You'll see this afterward. You don't live in Florida. And if you do, you either Googled it yourself or somebody's reminded you. Now I'm just very interested to suddenly read up on it. Okay, next. I, this blows my mind. I, I'm pretty sure, I've had this for so long that I'm pretty sure I found this at the bins. It's an Alexander Wang, like their full Alexander Wang, um, real, tell me what that little carry card thing, um, which I guess I just stuck these in here and then like I can find it, the color was black and the size was one size and blah, blah, blah. And it's calf hair, which, whatever. And a card keeper, this like chunky silver. This is gonna need to be like, professional waxed or something. Okay, so I found this. Oh, I don't even like to touch it. Found it, and it had spots where like the calf hair has separated from the calf skin. Um, not on both sides equally, but it like bare vacuumed it and then it like stopped. It was like done. So I was like, oh, it's kind of like left a cool, almost mark. And it's like a clutch size. So I listed it on there and they were selling for at the time, like, I don't know, six to $800. Some crazy, it's Alexander Wang. It's a very high end brand. So I'm like, okay, I'll put it on for, you know, because there was issues with it maybe 89 or something like I went still too high although it was 80 percent off and now two years later probably possibly more than two years later I finally sold it um I had been up down up down on this thing and it sold for 28 dollars and I am glad for that 28 dollars because it didn't take up very much space it takes up most nothing to ship it and um, I probably paid less than a dollar at the bins for it. So did not think what I would. And I'd, I'd pick it up again, <laughs> but clearly there's no market there for those in that condition at least. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do the watercolor abstract. And this one is headed to Louisa. And you, do you have anything else, Louisa? No. Okay. I thought I was gonna sell a watch while I was asleep. This guy's been asking me all of these questions on this $10 watch. Wanting me to possibly remove the back and measure from the inside to the inside. It's a $10 watch. $10. And then he was like, well, maybe you could just take a ruler and take pictures. So I did do that. He did not buy the watch. <laughs> we'll see. If he, he said he, he wanted to match a, a watch he was already, I don't know, building or something. It was a Tommy Hilfiger, like, watch. He's like, I know you don't include batteries, but you know if it works, can you check? Dude, <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I said, here, this is what I got for you. I really did. I was like, I would love to do all of these things, but please know, like I buy jewelry and lots. So I probably already paid a dollar for this. eBay takes a fee. I had, I pay taxes. There's shipping costs. Like I'm making $4 on this piece, potentially if I sell it for, for $10. Like it's not even, I'm not taking apart a watch. And then what happens if you don't want it and I can't get it back on? I was really nice about it, but he understood, I think. <laughs> That's too much. Okay, I really liked that green with that. I was gonna see if I had more of a teal. But look how pretty that looks. This does have some green in it. Almost that exact color. Very nice. Me. Okay, we will do 
We shouldn't do winter anymore. Winter's over. We'll do the citrus and the, the my favorite one of tonight. You have done enough to be loved. And I have to get another. Snail. Bigger one. I don't know if this is gonna fit in a regular package. Does it fit in there? It might fit in there. Okay. This is on the cusp for me, just because it feels heavy. But I'm guessing it's. Whoa. <laughs> hold on. How do I hold this? It's exactly one pound. So um, it will have to go. I mean, it can still go in the same bag. Maybe. Where is she? Illinois. Oh, this is doing... This is going to Illinois to that international business. Well, that's odd. Two different people use this international business thing I've never heard of. I've heard of the big ones, but I've not heard of this one. Okay. Very weird coincidence. We'll take it. So hi, Louisa. And your friend, potentially. Okay, so this is obviously over a pound. So we do two pounds. And it is a 12 by 10 by three, we'll do. And she paid $6.99 for shipping. I will lose a little bit here, which is my own fault, not anybody else's. And this is going to be $7.84, $7.84. I'm now Googling about something else, not about what time does the eclipse start, not at all here in Florida. Three o'clock, okay, well that's good. I know it's not going to be a super huge thing, but the last one, Bear was singing, so we couldn't be together. Oh. Um, so some neighbors came out, and we all watched it through. Uh, I had put together, like, cardboard cereal boxes for everybody. And we all watched it together. Because we, it was years ago, first of all. I mean, we had the internet, obviously, but, um... I don't know. I should have ordered glasses, but we didn't think it was really going to be this. It didn't turn out to be a super huge thing. It was more just like, oh, look at the leaves on the pavement. The shadows are really cool. But still, I really enjoyed it. Okay, next one. Back to orders. We've got a lot of jewelry now, so I'm guessing the rest is jewelry. Yes. We have this. This is so pretty. Express collar um it's like this distressed it's gonna be really hard to see round maybe if i do that there you go um round like distressed piece i have to go up higher however i don't have any boxes this shape so i'm going to have to make i'm just gonna have to wrap it and i hate that do i have Fit. I'll, I'll take that. That's a win for me. Did I do that right? How am I doing that? I think I pulled it out wrong. Okay. Still win. Okay, Cindy. Please do not spray or pack the item with any scented products. I'm allergic. Oh, definitely. I do still have... Um, it. <laughs> it must be over there. Um, the colognes that somebody had given me, uh, the perfumes, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. One of my viewers sent me a care package and they had all of these true religion like sample fragrances, which I've been using. Um, and I have written to her, but a lot of people don't want scented items in their, um, 
package. And I even put them in, I, I did a few test ones on people that I knew would, would be okay with testing them. So if you didn't get one, just know you weren't part of that test group. And I sent them in like one of these bags. Um, and still, I don't know if it's the Florida heat or it's just the scent was that strong. I didn't think it was. But they will be put to good use. Absolutely every single vial of what she sent. I already sent some to my family. And I'm probably on my second or third vial. And I don't, I'm not really a perfume wearer usually, so it's been nice. This will really free me up because even if somebody orders something tonight, and like I said, I have three business days, which I don't think hurts me. Honestly, if you can ship every business day, fantastic. Um, I would never do same day. My mom got stuck in that loop accidentally, I think one or two times. That's just craziness. Um, I have done one, one business day, like next day before, but with how I don't feel good on a regular basis. And sometimes, you know, 15 orders coming at once. And I know for me, even without filming, that's gonna be, probably two hours okay so so if something sells tonight I won't have to get it I don't think till Thursday I don't think they count either Wednesday or Thursday so that'll be nice okay three ounces that's rounded up so it was very light uh, that'll give me a little bit of time if I need it but all of the rest of these aren't due until the 10th. So I could even stop here tonight. And didn't want to though. Come on. Did I not click the button? Click the button. Um, and be okay. Here we go. Print. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate it. Okay, four more items. Stephanie, Pamela, Cynthia, different, Mary, Mary. So let's go in order now. We have a lot of two bangles, really pretty. I'll put the pictures up. Um, this one has the twist off cap. I really thought I would be able to find a maker's mark to this just because it seemed so well made. Couldn't. So these eventually, I'm going to say I've had these for a long time as well. Yeah, they're really well done. Um, especially this one. I love this one. Uh, for $14, I offered Stephanie, and Stephanie is a repeat buyer. So thank you. Hi, Stephanie. Uh, and I hope you love them. And do I have a box for this size? I think I do. It's going to need a lot of um, bubble wrap inside, but I don't mind. That way you get a proper box.
are you? You are in Idaho. That's a very fun town name. And, oh, here are the, um, <laughs> the perfume samples and the baggies that I had been, they were just right there. Now, Like the Tiffany blue box and the classic bangles. I like that. We've been watching, I don't know what it's called. I never know what anything's called. It's something like Million Dollar Watch House Hunters. Maybe that's what it's called. It's with um, a host called Viviana V. And I think. There's 13 seasons, and most of them were filmed like 2019, so right before the pandemic. Back to back to back, and they're only in California. I think one, one, and we've watched <laughs> potentially over 100, was in like Utah. But, but it gives you a good idea of how pretty California is and how big it is. And how, how different, I mean, so many places are on the coast and just congested, but then there's also places up high with snow and it's, it's lovely and very expensive. And this was before um, the pandemic. So I know prices now are just, yikes. But usually their budget's at least a few million dollars. So it makes it a little bit more fun to see. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't know that existed. Whoa. Um, so we might do that tonight. We'll see. We'll see how Bear feels when he gets done with his walk. Stickers, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so those were the two bracelets. I believe she... Oh. Okay, two bracelets, but they were in one, um, it was a lot, like I said. One listing, but I can't say. And that would be a helpful thing if I turned it on. Five. And she paid $4.99. Uh, my cost is $4.68. Very good. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm gonna put this on the back because the front has a little message that says, I believe in unicorns. Sometimes the photos only show like one side and I think this is one of them. I think I have this in the same color, uh, in a different colorway, like pink. And I thought they were like, um, it's like a water pastel or like a cotton candy, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the unicorn. Pamela. Let's do Pamela next. She is getting this gold kind of laser cut out. And six dollars. She has also been a repeat customer. Put this in here first. So the chain, the chain's pretty thick, so I don't think it would tangle. And then we will put her in this white bag. We did it. And did she get anything else? No. Okay. I don't think we've used the orange print yet. And that'll match really nicely with that green ribbon that's sitting there.
roll it up. Some stickers. House is pretty clean for the week. Bare brim carpet cleaner again, and then vacuumed and did bathrooms yesterday. He does the laundry now. He's back to doing all of the laundry. 99% of the laundry, which is great. And he's been making himself eggs and chicken and bulk clean food. Um, just to see if it helps his stomach. So that is why I've been able to ship more and package more, same thing kind of, and list more and film, film is a big one. Here we are. And she's, I don't know if she's had a beach card before. We'll do three for her because she has been a repeat customer, so I don't know what cards she already has. I don't keep track of that. Maybe, maybe it's just pastels. Maybe she's just pastels. Nope, unicorn. And she spent $6 for this, and this is headed to Alabama, which is also very close, so she should get this within maybe two days depending on how the mail is moving at the time. And it was falling off, three ounces rounded up. Oh, it even had it in it already. Um, she paid $4.99 for shipping. My cost was $3.96. And print. Thank you so much, Pamela. You also got the secret unicorn. Okay, next is headed to, oh, I should be able to know this before I even click back. This person has purchased from me before, a lot. Cynthia, not a lot, a regular normal amount, Cynthia, right? Cynthia is a supporter, I like that. I don't know how to show your pin, I'm just gonna have to, insert a picture. It's very pretty. It's like a five petal. Thankfully it does have holly bush thickers. Seriously. This is my latest one. I, I barely am going out there without gloves. I don't know what happens. Do you see that? It bit, it bit me again. <laughs> I've got huge gloves. So anyway, I appreciate the support. I just watched a TikTok not too long ago. Maybe I watched it in the past, I think, but I watched it again of how people are now wearing pins. And the woman said to like replace each button with a different one or like little jaws clips. Like if you had like little hair clips, you could like put one. I thought that was, people are so amazing. I liked that idea. And then my whole top would feel very heavy. <laughs> and anytime I moved, I'd be like, whoa, my sense of balance would be very off from all of those additional pins. Today, one year ago today, we officially sold our house and moved out of our last house. It was April 7th, 2023. I can't believe a year has gone by and then we had to rent for a gap month until we could get to this house and really do some things in this house. Cynthia, you've been with me for a while, so we need a new print for you. What print haven't you seen? What was the most exciting one? 
I just ordered. Is it this one? I know you haven't seen the new ones, but I only have three new ones because I like some of the old ones so much. So we're going to give you this. Double it, that way you get a little bit more to see the print. Anyway, I still can't believe it's been a year. We have kept it on our, our calendar. He does a really good job with the digital can calendar. It is helpful. And into year like three of using it, I am getting used to it, sort of. Not having pen and paper is not going well. I just wound up texting stuff, not to myself. You would think I would know how to do that. But it's just as easy as putting in your phone number. Usually I just like text it to Bear, but then I don't text it to Bear and I screen save it instead. So it's like on, <laughs> I just need a piece of paper. I can't figure out how to not walk around with pen and paper. My brain is not at that point where it's going to remember it. And I know myself too well to even like, oh, I'll remember that. No, that's we're past that. Unless things are getting written down or it's really, really fun. Like, oh, Melissa, you need to go to the store and buy milk and eggs. And then afterwards, the mighty king of cotton candy land is coming over. That part I'll remember. What time? That, well, I have already forgotten the things I need at the store, though, because I am way too excited about the rest of it. I'll just pick the one thing, and then my mind will just... Whoosh. Really into cotton candy. I don't know why. Maybe it was the board games that did it. Did you know the board game cotton candy has changed over the years? Many times. It doesn't even look like if you played in the 80s, 90s, even the early 2000s, which I did not play in the early 2000s. Um, yeah, yeah, doesn't look like that at all. It's a little sad. Not that sad. 2.4. 2.43. And this package is about six by six by three. Cynthia is in, I almost said Cynthia. Can't just say what words, so I'd have to cut that out. She is from Virginia. And her cost for that was 402. She got charged 449, because I knew that would be a smaller package. I almost just said like your street address or something. I'm just gonna continue to read your information online. Switch and print. Just a couple more. The pile's growing. Feeling productive. And not that tired, thankfully. I will take. Did help to lay down. Okay, so the next person just ordered these two items. This is Mary. Definitely no Mary. Hi, Mary. Mary, did you order something else tonight? I'm going to check my shipping labels just to make sure you didn't. Where did we start? We started with Laura. Nope. Okay. So she ordered the J. Crew. Really nice. Um, it's like a in the hand, it has a very smooth but circular touch to it. You don't feel all the grooves. Like, your hairs probably would never get stuck in those, which is so nice. Um, really thick toggle. And then these are sterling silver, right? Yeah, sterling silver. Very delicate. Just under an inch. So, pretty small. Very wearable. Um, and she paid for, I think, both things. $22. I sent her offers. Oh, and these are sterling. And then she paid shipping and I refunded some of the shipping. Okay, so let's 
get little boxes here. Make sure these. I'm going to dip these in some sterling cleaner. They look like. I think I just did them to be fair, but I'm going to do them again. So I'll be back. Okay, last package of the night for Mary. I cleaned these and I'm glad I did. It's a very minuscule uh, difference, but I can tell that they're sparkly, sparkly. And these are meant for rings, but look how nice that looks. I don't know that you'll be able to see. They're in there. Now we are going to give her two separate boxes because I feel like this is just going to not be good against that fine sterling. So there's that. And Bear is back from a walk. He just walked around the community, which is lovely. And then we'll do this one next. Uh, maybe we'll... I'm not sure how to do this, Mary. That's that's what that looks like. <laughs> it's very sad. The good part's on the other side. But it'll keep it, which is the more important part, I think. second drawer down because I know where it goes now and I don't think we'll need any more of that now I left these two papers I don't know I'm guessing she's seen this was a 2023 print but I just had a tiny little piece left so I thought I would use that on one of them and then we'll go back to the abstract and that kind of ties in Put away my stickers. Nope, still need the stickers. We'll use the silver stickers. And then this one, I have to cut, but it will get the new abstract, floral abstract. I don't think I would have called this floral abstract. There's no floral. Maybe it's not called floral. Actually. Is it watercolor abstract? Oh, I think it's watercolor. That's better. Maybe teal. Teal. That's too long, I guess. Okay. Well, they did okay. We'll let them go with this one. It's late. It was probably late at the end of the day. It's late here. It's 9 p.m. They were probably like, what are we calling this? Just, just name it something. Let's go home. That's probably weird. They were definitely not a of that. I can imagine coming up with all those colors. And people really have said, I've heard them say, not necessarily to me, but like even on television, or like my sister maybe said this. She didn't say this, Lisa. Somebody like you said this to me. Like it'd be really cool to name paint or like paint colors, nail polish colors. And I'm thinking, no, like that's a terrible job. Like put them in order, yes by color, but like to name, oh my goodness, do you realize how many paint names there are out there to just have to come up with brand new ones from nothing land? Like, there's probably a snow log home, log home, log home in the snow. These are probably existing colors. Like, how many creams could you name before you just like, it's just cream, man, it's just cream. I'd be like, that one's 001, next one's 002. <laughs> it's making up stuff from nothing. At least when scientists find sea creatures, you know, whoever found it first, or usually it's dedicated to somebody. And, you know, they don't have to come up with like four quadrillion all at one time, like paint colors. Okay, pretty, and this matches perfectly, very happy. I'm going to write her a little card. Well, not just like a little card, just it says thanks. Okay, and 
then I gave her the beach one, the seashell one. My favorite tonight. Um, you've done enough to be loved and you are enough one because she is a repeat customer. And I left out the, um, nobody else has gotten this bag tonight and she had the green and the pink. So I thought it would be fun. How much fun are these? Seriously. How happy does that make you? So cute. It's not, it definitely will, will not rip it now, but it's not like the most mill um, plastic, but this is going nowhere. I feel confident. I put away the stickers again. Uh. Don't put away the sticker. Okay. Three point seven. So we've round up. Oh, it's already four. How about that? Mary is in New Jersey. And she paid probably close to nine dollars for shipping, but I've already refunded her the difference. And so my cost was four dollars and two cents. And this is the last one. Well, that went pretty well in my eyes. Go back to orders and just make sure nothing else has popped up. I'm gonna go to listings and see if I can send out orders. I don't have best offer on 90% of my, maybe even 100%, but I will send out offers, especially for these videos. But I just wanted to see if I had any um, eligible offers to be sent. It says there's two, so let's see what those are. Because if those are two high priced offers, my computer's just being glitchy. Now we can put away the stickers. I say I'll do it on my phone, but my phone is um, capturing my image right now. Hi, phone. Dashlane is slowing you down. Don't do it, Dashlane. Okay, new screen. It is. Looks like you don't have any active listings. <laughs> you do. You do. I've got almost 500. Uh, I, okay. Maybe they just mean they hate me. Well, maybe that'll be a bad thing. I can send, send offers eligible too. I, I don't know what's happening. Help close the deal by sending targeted offers to the interested buyers. Send offers to two. Now I'm gonna lift, leave you on a cliffhanger. Oh. How will you sleep tonight not knowing which two boring things might get an offer and probably not accepted and not sold? I just don't know. Let's pretend it is a $2 bracelet that somebody wants for 50 cents and a $15 shirt that I sent out a $10 offer and they sent back an offer that they want free shipping and I turned them down because that's not allowed. So that's the end of that story. Now we're just going to shut everything down because... In my brain, that's what happened, and those people can just wait for offers some other time. <laughs> anyway, I hope you had a good time. Thank you so much for watching. I, I probably, I will keep doing shipping videos. I probably, as hopefully things get better and better and better, I will probably film more in um, the store potentially is what I'm hoping for this year and sometimes when I come home going through a lot of clothing items seems a little boring for me so let me know about that because like we can just show you the hard goods and like a few of the good pieces but do you want to see everything that sounds a lot sounds like a lot on you on it just sounds like anyway okay take care I will see you when I see you Bye.